Good morning, Lacey. It's time to get up. Okay. Give me a few minutes. Girls, it's time to get up. We need to get ready for the open house. Is it true that we are going to have a roving reporter here? Yes, it is. I have talked to her personally. She's called Miss Jeannie out in town. So what is the first thing on the agenda? It's a meet and greet out on the stage. That reporter and some others will be there. Put on an attractive outfit. Hi, I am Miss Jeannie of Channel 8 News. I was hoping to get an interview with you. Then tomorrow I will be interviewing the eight sweet teens from the Tube Channel. We have an hour before we play our first song, so we have some time. Great. So how long have you been here? The last time I was here it was run by others. You could say that the others left when we inherited this place. We have been here a couple of months. So what exactly do you do here? Is this a full school? Yes it is. In addition to a normal high school schedule, we train girls to dance to a country tune. That's right up our alley. We have even learned some steps ourselves. It does not take long, just lots of practice. Would you please put on a dance for us? I would like that too. Do you have any dancing dresses to wear, just to make it look authentic? We have dresses that we can wear. What would you like to see? Just anything country. I am a big fan of yours. I do have your permission to put this story on the news, don't I? Absolutely. Now if you will excuse us, we will get dressed and give you a simple dance when we come back.
we are finally ready. I will command the demon to rise, once we have restored the creature. What is that bird? It looks deformed. It's a chicken, but I have infused DNA from a lion and an eagle, and it is already starting to mutate. This machine will greatly accelerate the process. What will it be when we are done? It will be a griffin, a noble creature from antiquity. I will turn it to my favor and I will rule the world with you by my side. It will take a few minutes to mutate it. Who is the mortal who has raised me from my sleep? I am. Together we will rule the world. No one commands me. Your life is at an end. Can I burn her mama? She looks so fine. No Jane. You know how much Jerry hates having his supper burned. We'll find you someone. Hey Lisa, how are you on making friends at that high school? Not very well. They all say our family seems kind of odd. That's strange. Well keep on trying. I might enroll you in that country dance school soon after we get fully settled in. That sounds great. I would enjoy that. What an odd bird that was. Maybe it's a turkey vulture but I have never seen a turkey vulture like that. I will ask Daddy when he gets home. What about you Jane? Would you like to go to that school too? It's not a matter of money you know. You just can't go burning your classmates. That's what got you in trouble before. I will get back to you on that. I like to have my fun. Let me go. What have I done to you? You are my son's supper. That's all you need to know. Now be quiet or I will let Jane burn you. Hello little boy. How are you? I am Kenda. Jerry is my name. I am glad to meet you. Let's ride the merry-go-round.
Aren't we a little old for that? No way. Come on. Let's have some fun. Come over to my house if you will. Father would love to meet you. I see you have made yourself a new friend Jerry. Don't be late for supper. I won't Gramps. It will be just a little while. You can come too. My father is a nice man. My mother is away for a few days. You two just sit and be comfortable. This place worries me, Jerry. Something isn't right. That girl is too friendly. She's a nice girl, Gramps. I did not want to feed yet. Do we have to kill them? Jerry is a nice boy, and I like Gramps. We must not shirk our duties. They are vampires. I will have the holy water ready. Look up in the sky. A weird bird. It's a sign. The devil flying overhead. Go entertain them. I will be in shortly. Father will be in shortly. Where do you folks come from? We just moved here, coming from out of state. I am Father Roberts. We can skip the introductions. I would say die vampires but you are the undead. You can't get away. I will spray you with more holy water than put a stake in each of you. Your holy water will not affect me preacher. I can only carry one of you. Take Jerry. I can escape. I will tell you where we live. I already know. I have been watching you. Are you girls ready for the stage? It's time. Let's go. I want to play so badly. Now everybody welcome the Dixie Bells to the stage, playing to an old bluegrass tune.
Look. That weird bird. It left something. It looks like a boy. Oh no. It's Jerry. Let's go. He looks burned, and he's in bad shape. Let's get him upstairs. Come on Lisa help me. It looks like holy water. I have seen this before. We need to get him some nourishment. Have your father bring up that girl for his supper. Cut her. He needs her blood. We will put her over his mouth. Jerry if you can hear me, drink as much as you can. Gramps. What happened? You look bad. Jerry and I were attacked. A griffin took Jerry. Is he here? Yes he is. Jerry is in bad shape but we are feeding him. We need to get you some food. You look too weak to hunt. 
Jane let's go get Gramps some dinner. Here you go Gramps. Drink her deep. How do you girls feel about this school? Do you like it? I love it because it gives me the opportunity to learn something I have always wanted to learn. That's country dance. I agree with Jenny. Where else would we go? Do you learn anything else other than country dancing? Yes indeed. For our upcoming set we are going to do an Irish reel. We would love to talk to you later. 
but we need to get into our dancing dresses. Everybody give a warm welcome to the Frightville dancers. Today they will be doing a traditional Irish reel. So this is your place. Sweet. Where is your father? He'll be back. Just went out for groceries. He stopped by our Sunday school class the other day. That was really nice. My sense of smell is not as strong as yours is Jane when you change. Can you transform? Okay. Give me a minute. How many do you smell, Jane? One. Okay, Jane, are there two? Do you smell a mortal male? I want the one who lured me. You can eat the other one.
Jerry give me a chance to explain. I did not want father to harm you. It's just that he hunts vampires. It's too late for that. I am going to enjoy this. You will die, but not quickly. Ah! 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 
This is Miss Jeannie at the scene of the Roberts house where a horrendous act has occurred. Two teenage girls, one of them the daughter of Mel and Mindy Roberts. Both girls appear to have been attacked by animals. According to my sources, however, there may be another component to this. Rumors say that there may be vampires operating locally, however irrational that may sound. You two have really done it this time. The press is all over what you did. Hopefully the cops will say that this was done by animals, but the preacher and his wife aren't going to buy that. I'm sorry dad. I just wanted revenge on her. We may have to move again if the heat gets too bad. I am glad to see the boy is feeling better. Why did you do that anyway, helping my son? Many like the preacher have hunted my kind too. I couldn't live with it. I could use a favor in return. I need a nesting place. Can you help me? You can use our barn if you want. Once again, welcome the Frightville Country Dancers. They will be dancing to a bluegrass tune. <laughs>
This fog is really thick. Are you sure you want to go to this farm? Yes, I think this is the epicenter of whatever is going on. What is that thing? It's headed right for me. Look out, it's a small plane or something. Hey girls that reporter is dead. Her helicopter got in a collision with a small plane. I am sorry to hear that. We need to get ready for the closing song. Hello I am Audrey Williams and this is Sarah Johns, who will be taking the spot vacated due to the tragic death of Miss Jeannie in the collision of her helicopter with a small plane. We'll start with an update to the story of the grisly deaths of two teenage girls at the house of local pastor James Roberts. It turns out that the girl presumed to be the daughter of the pastor was actually a runaway. Pastor Roberts has been arrested for child trafficking. My sources at the police station tell me that he may spend any sentence in a psychiatric ward as he has been muttering incoherently about destroying vampires. Meanwhile, the Air Safety Board has concluded that the collision that claimed the life of Miss Jeannie was an accident. Local conspiracy theorists point out that an unusual amount of large feathers and bits of flesh beneath the accident area. When approached about the lack of radar tracings and lack of a transponder signal, the board grew quiet. Switching to lifestyle news, the open house at the Frightville Country Dance School was a big success with the Dixie Bells and their young charges showing off their talents. The school is rapidly becoming an icon here in Frightville. <laughs> 